Are you woven do we put one more beautiful time we are in another beautiful session and we are going to learn the great ten signs once again and we have been learning chemical basis of life as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus isn't it and we have been learning protein in our previous session and this time in this video we will talk about significance of protein what we've learned in our previous session and this is going to be your video number nine of this chapter number one so what we will learn today yes we learn about the significance of protein and a test for a proteins and a test for protein so it's very important to identify what the protein can do to our body and how to find out the protein in our food and you will come to know at the end of the session how to test for protein and what are the significance of protein let's get into the subject when a person is telling that i need more energy as an energy source the protein is working let's understand that combination now people used to have carbohydrates for the energy or else they will have lipid for energy and when the when you have carbohydrates and when you have lipid in your body and you feel that you need more energy what you're going to do when energy supply from lipids and carbohydrates is not sufficient protein is used in energy generation then comes the protein and when you take the protein voila there you go your energy is fulfilled so carbohydrate and lipid when it is not enough yes you want to have protein for the energy generation that is one significant thing about protein now let's understand the next one do you see this fingernail and this fingernail you exactly can say that which one is a healthy finger nail isn't it that is right you are already telling that the fingernails to your right side looks very much healthier than the left side now people used to talk about this carotene protein in most of the commercial advertisement what is that okay to make structural components proteins are important components in making cell membrane hair and feathers also contain carotene protein when the hair and feathers don't have enough carotene protein it'll look very much pale and dull so you want to have good carotene protein you can and you should know how to get that one with the food instead of taking shampoos and artificial chemicals remember that one and as enzymes also works what is that all the biochemical reactions take place in organism are catalyzed by enzymes you know that when the digestion happens the digestion is happening along with a uh, with enzymes if there is no enzymes you won't be able to digest your food properly so these enzymes are protein you remember that one these enzymes are what protein now very significant isn't it now as hormones also it works some hormones are proteins completely which involves in homeostasis and coordination of organism this picture in front of you says almost all the hormones which is there in your body out of that some hormones are proteins which involve in homeostasis and coordination of organism now the antibodies is the most important thing the antibodies that are produced in the body to protect the body against microorganisms that enter into the body are proteins the antibodies that are produced in the body to protect the body against microorganisms that enter into the body are proteins the white blood cells definitely should have enough proteins to fight along with the enemies getting into the body that is right so let's understand and do a test to identify the proteins as we promised they call it as burit burit test burit test is the one which we are going to talk about for that a solution made by grinding dal or an egg right egg white i'm talking about is obtained into a test tube into a test tube we are taking dal or an egg white grinded 
solution it is there in front of you now an extra amount of sodium hydroxide we're going to put inside we're going to put extra amount of sodium hydroxide it looks like this just like a drop of water now what happens and then few drops of copper sulfate is added into it copper sulfate looks exactly like this in blue color first of all what we did was an extra amount of sodium hydroxide we put and then few drops of copper sulfate is added into it first NaOH the second CuSO4 we are putting and then after sometimes what happened is solution turns to purple color solution turns to purple color just like this so that means the protein is present so we came to know the beauty test and the two chemicals what we used here is sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate so what we know now we know the significance of proteins and the bureau test test for proteins i'm going to meet you in another beautiful session until then take care of yourself and if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell button and if you need more information you can always leave coming to us and thank you for subscribing and commenting.